During the 12th to 14th centuries, the Kharkiv region stood at the crossroads between the steppe world of the Golden Horde and the forest steppe communities of the East Slavs. After the Mongol conquest in the early 13th century, much of what is now eastern Ukraine was incorporated into the Golden Horde, a vast polity that stretched from the Volga to the Black Sea. Life here reflected a mix of Slavic traditions with the political and economic structures imposed by the Mongols. For the Slavs living in this frontier zone, daily existence often meant paying tribute to the Khans while maintaining village-based agriculture, animal husbandry, and small-scale trade. The fertile soils of the forest steppe supported farming, while proximity to nomadic routes brought exposure to Turkic and Mongol customs, languages, and even material culture. For this video, I've gathered the genome of a 13th century Slav from Kharkiv region in Ukraine. According to Illustrative DNA, this sample clusters with Ukrainians and Russians, but also West Slavs such as Poles and Slovaks. I analyzed this sample with QPIM. According to FST analysis computed with AT2, she most closely resembles Croats, Russians, Ukrainians, Czechs, and Belarusians, all Slavic people. A Mesolithic Kpatum run reveals the dominant ancestral component in this sample is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component, at 33%. This is somewhat low. Central Russians tend to score around 35%. However, this sample scores higher for Iranian Neolithic farmer than what is expected for Russians. Another Kpatum run reveals that this sample had quite a typical ancestry breakdown for Eastern Slavs with 57% steppe, 14% hunter-gatherer, and 29% ANF admixture. Keep in mind the ANF here is low because Latvia courted where had some ANF admixture. I also made a model tailored to Slavic ethnogenesis. According to this model, the sample scores 43% Anetis, 26% Thracian, and 32% Bronze Age Balt. I ran this sample through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here is its predicted phenotype. She was predicted to have hazel eye color, dark brown hair color, white skin color, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. She was predicted to be a warrior, meaning to have higher COMT, MAOA, and MAOB activity and lower dopamine levels. She was predicted to have lower odds of autism, to be lactase persistent, to have higher empathy, low odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type O. She did not carry variants for micropenis, carried the unathletic genotype in ACTN3's R577X, likely had photic sneeze reflex, had high odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, higher odds of methamphetamine-induced psychosis, carried no risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness, and carried two copies of the hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 gene variant. She scored particularly high for the odds of AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, leukemia, baldness, atrial fibrillation, type 2 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. She scored low for the odds of polycythemia vera, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular issues, and hemoglobin E disease. She carried rare risk variants for congenital analgesia and recalcitrant atopic dermatitis. You can purchase her genome in 23andMe format from the link in description.